Hey guys, welcome to this video. So today I'll be showing you how to auto walk in Pokemon Go. And this event, the spring event 2020, we have Shiny Riolu, Shiny Pichu and Shiny Togepi hatching from two kilometer eggs. So it is a really good time to get out hatching eggs. And uh, this method will help you hatch eggs from home. Even if you're not a spoofer, this will help you do that. So this does not require any spoofing knowledge or any routing or something because it's not related to that it's a simple one application installation method that you need to do so the application that you need is called defit so before I run through the tutorial of defit I'll tell you some things that you need to do before you get to defit so one thing else that you need to keep installed on your device is Google fit so Google Fit is an application essential for adventure sync to run and that's how we will be able to land those kilometers in Pokemon Go and add up to those eggs and hatch them. So this method lets you get around 100 kilometers in around 600 minutes. So this is a pretty efficient way to hatch these eggs. So moving on. Uh, I'll need to show you how to operate DFIT but before that you need to remember that DFIT only works with the Google account which is linked to the adventuring of your Pokemon Go of the account that you want to hatch eggs from. So the adventuring should be connected to the Google account which is connected to the DFIT account. So it's a pretty easy process that you need to do after this so let's get to the phone screen and figure it out so guys here i am on my phone screen with the application that you need for getting those adventure sync kilometers those hundreds of kilometers done in almost no time without spoofing and without hacking and of course without rooting your phone so all you need is a simple application called dfit which is a debugger of fitness application so let's open the app and as you can see i'm here on my dfit application it is a very simple one page uh, interface so first of all you need to enter your google account which is linked with your pokemon go and your google fit so you need basically three applications which is pokemon go of course Google Fit, which is required to record kilometers to Adventure Sync. And thirdly, you need your DFIT app. So DFIT manipulates the kilometers in Google Fit. So it does not hamper your Pokemon Go settings. So you are not getting banned for doing this trick. So all you need to do is first enter your Google account and let it uh, get the permissions just click OK for all and then you'll get this kind of a screen so you'll get four settings which are the syncing the active time the speed and the behavior so let's start from the bottom we have the behavior here and you need to check it to human it should previously be human and you need to let it be human don't bring it to stable and after that you need to get to speed and you know you can get it down to four kilometers per hour or 10.5 so to get the most out of adventuring you need to keep it at 10.5 which is the maximum speed and you cannot go above 10.5 because if your speed is said to be above 10.5 google fit will not record kilometers for your phone and it will not record the distance hence you'll not get the egg distance that you need to get or the adventuring distance that you're hoping to get for the stardust for the rare candies or for anything that you want so once you get the speed to 10.5 which is the highest you need to close defit open pokemon go now once you're opening pokemon go you need to close adventure sync so you need to uncheck the box where adventure sync is so that you know it's able to re-log in with the defit app so once you have unchecked Adventure Sync in the settings in the Pokemon Go app, open DFIT again and you need to look at the active time. It should be around 120 to 200 minutes and you can click on the add button right here which will show you around a 30 minute, uh, I mean a 30 second to a 15 second ad 
and once that ad is done you'll get 250 more minutes and this will keep on going until you get 600 minutes which is 10 hours of the fit time so if it is 10 hours of defit times that means 10.5 kilometers per hour and that is 105 kilometers for every 10 hours you run defit and when defit is running you can also play pokemon go during that time but that time it won't record the kilometers but once you close the app remove it from your recent it'll get on collecting adventure sync distance so once you've done that all you need to do is check the sync one which is the first uh, setting you need to check it and it'll show you this setting that the data will be syncing soon and it'll not take a minute or so before the data is synced and it'll keep on syncing every five to ten minutes and you'll keep on getting kilometers so once you have started the defit app all you need to do is open pokemon go check the adventure sync make sure it is switched on and then remove Pokemon Go from your recent so that it keeps on getting the adventure sync distance. And that is how easy it is to get the distance off of adventure sync. So what this does is basically it changes the amount of distance that you walk in the Google Fit app and Pokemon Go takes the distance from the Google Fit app. So you get a lot of kilometers from this Again, you need to keep the behavior at human speed at the maximum because that's the most helpful. And you can get around 600 minutes of the active time and you'll always need to keep the latest sync active. So guys, a few important things that you need to know is that for a two kilometer egg, you will need to wait 12 minutes. For a five kilometer egg, you'll need to wait 30 minutes. For a seven kilometer egg, you'll need to wait 45 minutes and for a 10 kilometer egg you'll need to wait for an hour and as the dis uh, distance is halved for this event you will be able to hatch eggs half the time with the half the time required so uh yeah one more thing is that your pokemon go application needs to be closed while you're running this application for hatching eggs also this method lets you get those buddy candies but remember there is a cap to the buddy candies and you cannot earn more than a hundred kilometer worth of buddy candies per day so for example if it's a mewtwo that you're running and it earns candies 20 kilometers per one candy then you can only earn a around four to five candies per day so if you want to stock up on candies with this method you'll need to remember this so for example if it's a one kilometer pokemon you'll be able to earn around 100 candies per day which is pretty cool so yeah you need to keep that in mind and that is basically it for the video go hatch those eggs go get that shiny riolu and shiny lucario and if you're lucky that shiny flower pichu and flower togepi so that's it for the video guys Please do not forget to subscribe if this helps you and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Share this video if you're with your friends if you want them to get those Riolus too. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, like the video and that's it guys. Peace out.